Russian units in the pokrovsk kurakovskoy direction are already using additional reserves, and now the main goal of Kurakovo is to exhaust the enemy as much as possible, said Ukrainian military political observer of the information resistance group Alexander Kovalenko. For example, the second combined arms army, which is part of the center group of forces, was recently reinforced by the 61st Separate Marine Brigade. The area of responsibility of this brigade is the left bank Kherson region. Oleshki, but it was redeployed to the Pokrovsk direction for reinforcement. That is, reserves are already being spent, and Kurakovo can turn into a meat grinder that will pass through itself the maximum Russian resource, and the occupiers will not have enough potential to begin offensive actions on Pokrovsk, he explained on the air of the Espresso TV channel. According to Kovalenko, it is not worth counting on Kurakovo being held on defense until the end. The expert believes that at some point, Ukrainian forces will have to retreat. But Kurakovo has some terrain features and this could slow down the occupiers. The Russians are currently trying to gain a foothold on the eastern outskirts of Kurakovo, but between the eastern part of the city and its center, there is the Dilinaya Balka, a natural barrier that could become a long-term breaking element for the advancing troops. For example, as it was in Chesovoya, when the canal was a natural barrier for a long time, preventing the Russians from gaining a foothold on the right bank. Therefore, such features can be used to slow down the Russians as much as possible in the Kurokovo area, stated Alexander Kovalenko. Russian troops are attacking the city from three directions, and the military observers in Kiev claim that part of the Russian forces have already entered Kurokovo. The advance on the flanks of the Ukrainian group continues. The enemy garrison is threatened with encirclement, said a fighter of the Russian armed forces. He added that some Russian units are in the city and fighting is underway there. Kurokovo, the soldier added, is gradually being covered from the flanks. Earlier, the Russian army entered the section of the highway leading from Pokrovsk, along which the supply of the armed forces of Ukraine was carried out near the village of Selidovo. This section of road is the main route to Krasnoamysk. The Indonesian and Australian militaries began joint combat drills off Indonesia's main island of Java on Wednesday, with about 2,000 troops training in air, maritime, amphibious and land operations. They'll participate in a live-fire exercise near Benangan Beach of East Java's Sichabondo district with tanks, artillery, infantry and attack helicopters, a joint landing operation and a non-combat evacuation used for a disaster. The four-day Carries Woomera 2024 exercise highlighted the cooperation between the countries strengthened by the recent signing of the Australia-Indonesia Defence Cooperation Agreement. Although Indonesia is often presented as one of Australia's most important neighbours and strategic allies, the relationship has fluctuated. Recent disagreements include allegations that Australia had wiretapped private phone calls of a past Indonesian president, Indonesia's use of capital punishment on Australian drug smugglers and the smuggling of migrants. The exercise is also part of Indo-Pacific Endeavour 2024, Australia's largest international engagement activity in the region, taking place in Australia and Indonesia, commander of the Australian Amphibious Task Force Captain Chris Doherty told reporters. Analysts consider Indonesia's defence a priority of new President Prabowo Subianto. He wants to expand his military by buying submarines, frigates and fighter jets and wants to initiate more defense cooperation with various countries. Indonesia has held military exercises with other countries, including the Russian Navy on November 4 in Indonesia's East Java Seas, as Russia's invasion of Ukraine brought renewed concerns over China's assertiveness in the Indo-Pacific. Last month, Indonesia said its patrol ships drove away a Chinese Coast Guard ship that disrupted a survey being undertaken by a state-owned energy company in a part of the South China Sea disputed by both countries. China has rapidly expanded its military and has become increasingly assertive in pursuing territorial claims in the South China Sea, which Beijing claims virtually in its entirety. The tensions have led to more frequent confrontations, primarily with the Philippines and Vietnam, though the long-time territorial disputes also involve Malaysia, Indonesia, 
Brunei, and Taiwan. Yeah. 